Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now, I was hoping to see that many of you already have a penny deposit in your bank accounts for your $1,400 stimulus checks. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Although I am seeing many comments on my videos saying that you guys have finally received a pending deposit for April 7th, there are still many of you guys that have not received any pending deposit in your accounts at all. So in this video, I'll be going over which banks have already begun processing your third stimulus payment for the cardholders. I will also discuss when your $1,400 payments will actually be available to you and why Direct Express cardholders may be last to actually receive stimulus money. So you guys do not want to miss out on this very important stimulus check information. So be sure to stay until the end of this video, folks, to find out when you should expect to receive a stimulus check. First of all, I'm really glad that all of you are finally seeing a paying deposit in your accounts. This is so amazing. If you're still waiting for a stimulus check, be sure to leave a comment down below to let others know that they are not loaning this. It is really frustrating to see that many of you guys have not received a paying deposit in your accounts. But folks, I assure you this, stimulus checks are on the way, and all you gotta do is stay patient. Now, there may be an issue with Direct Express. I noticed that those of you who did not see a paying deposit are Direct Express cardholders, but I don't understand why Direct Express is taking forever to process your stimulus payments. There are still other banks that have already processed their customer stimulus checks. And let's go through a list of banks that have already begun processing stimulus money. Now, these banks are NetSpend, Chime, MetaBank, and even Bank of America. Now folks, these are the four banks that are currently processing stimulus checks for any of you guys that are on Social Security or their federal benefit programs. I also do notice that many of the NetSpend customers already see the paying deposit of $400 in their bank accounts. So it is good that NetSpend is doing an amazing job getting you those stimulus payments as fast as possible. Now for those of you on MetaBank, well, MetaBank customers are also having a great time with the paying deposits. As of right now, I have not seen one Direct Express card holder that is a paying deposit for the stimulus check. And that's just sort of disappointing. Because I know that many of you guys that receive SSI, SSDI, and Rare World Retirement Benefits use Direct Express. I believe Direct Express must send out those stimulus payments right now. If you agree with me folks, then be sure to give this video a like. Let's get this video to 1000 likes if you believe that the IRS and Direct Express must send out, must send out stimulus payments as soon as possible. But folks, the good news is that if there are any new updates on Direct Express, I will let you all know ASAP. Now, credit union customers have also started to see paying deposits in their accounts. The IRS should be able to process 30 million stimulus payments in a day. The IRS processed 90 million payments overnight. If the IRS could do it before, they can definitely do it again. I expect to see the majority of you will already have a paying deposit in your account by the end of this weekend. There are some Americans though that received a little extra stimulus check a little extra stimulus cash in their bank accounts. The IRS said late Thursday that its third batch of payments includes what it calls the first of many plus up stimulus payments. According to the IRS, these plus up stimulus payments will continue on a weekly basis going forward as the agency continues processing tax returns from 2020 and 2019. So yeah folks, some 29 returns need to be processed too. Under some circumstances, a person could be eligible for a new, bigger economic impact payment based on the recently processed tax terms. Now, ongoing supplemental or plus up payments would apply to people who had already received stimulus money earlier in March, but the initial payment date was based on a 2019 tax turn, not the 2020 return that they had re that had recently been filed. In addition, guys, even though you see a pending notice in your account today, it does not guarantee that $400 will be available to you tomorrow. It does take time for the IRS to process your stimulus money, but you should definitely get your stimulus payment by April 7th. We all know that the IRS gimmick payment tool is not really trustworthy, but for people receiving Social Security benefits like SDI and SSI, the good news is that the IRS and Treasury Department announced that the gimmick payment tool will be updated with the information for federal beneficiaries by the weekend of April 3rd and 4th. The IRS still does not have any new information for VA beneficiaries, and that's really ridiculous, folks. The IRS has not even announced when the gimmick payment tool will be updated for Americans that receive VA benefits. Now that's all the news in this video everybody, if any of you folks found this video useful and helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Until next time everybody, have a great day and stay safe. Iowa, with Congresswoman Marriott Miller Meeks and Congresswoman Ashley Henson. We went to a facility um, for vaccination and uh, Congresswoman Miller Meeks went right back to being the doctor and the public health official she always has been. Uh, Ashley and my job was to maybe hold the clipboard and uh, the timer, but uh, if you watched her bedside manner, um, tremendous.
and the caringness of why she got elected to represent the people of Iowa's second district. That's really what we want to talk a little bit about today. When the voices across America elect their representation, they want that voice to be heard. When they go to Washington, they understand it's the people's house, not Pelosi's house. And the idea that Democrats want to turn over an election after it's been counted, recounted, and a bipartisan election board had voted, it's time to move on. I've served with the Congresswoman. We've been to the border already. To see the crisis, we were the first congressional delegation to go down. And as I watched her work, understanding the crisis down on the border and coming back to Congress the next day, I watched her on the floor already offer an amendment to make sure those coming across, especially those children, get tested for COVID before they're pushed out their cities across this country. Unfortunately, the Democrats voted against that. But we need to make sure that all of Iowa has their voices heard, exactly how they voted for the voice to be heard. And that's what this Congresswoman and what she's doing day in and day out. With that, I want to invite up Michelle Crawford to speak a little bit about her time in Iowa as well. Good afternoon. I'm Michelle Crawford, a very proud, lifelong Iowan, Scott County resident, and I was proud to vote for Marinette Miller Meeks. I've gotten to know her, her over the past couple of years, and I knew that she would represent Iowa values. And as an Iowa voter, that's important to me that our Iowa values are represented by who the people from Iowa want to speak, and not who DC or Pelosi wants to handpick. We've all had elections where we didn't get our chosen candidate elected, but we support them and we accept the results. And that is what we, the people of Iowa, expect to happen as well. No matter how many votes, no matter who has spoken, she was elected and we want her to be representing us. Thank you. I also want to invite up Kerry Grugenhagen from Iowa as well. Thank you. My name is Kerry Gruenhagen. I am uh, involved in agriculture here in Iowa, and whoever my congressperson is, I am used to working with them. Um, before Marionette was elected, I worked with uh, Dave Lobsack on different issues, and now I am working with Marionette Miller Meeks. It is important that she is elected and not appointed. I worry about who is held accountable if she is accountable to the voters or if uh, Hart is going to be accountable to the Democrats that are uh, in the House. And now I'd like to uh, welcome Mary Nett Miller Meeks. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. Well, thank you all. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, we're, uh, you know, here in our district, we're doing the job that we were elected to do. And it's a pleasure to be here with both uh, Ashley Henson and with minority, minority leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, you know, it's very important that people realize what's going on. 